Welcome back to Teresa's Dead. My name is Teresa and I'm very much red-faced. I have an awful garbage filthy mouth so viewer discretion is advised but if you're not into that or weird shit in general this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to exit out the video here. No harm, no foul, but I'll remember our time fondly. Mama's back! Uh, <laughs> I feel really good, <laughs> but also awful because I've recorded this video four times now and I just realized that it wasn't recording and it was awful and it makes me sad. <sighs> Happy early Thanksgiving Eve. Hi. So I don't even remember what the hell I was talking about. <laughs> I don't even remember what the hell I was talking about, so I apologize if this seems so scattered brained. But hi, how are you? I initially was going to do a different kind of a video for today. I was gonna talk about um, things you should check out during Black Friday, and then I thought to myself, I just don't care. <laughs> you ever get that way? You're just like, I just, you know what? Mm, I don't care. I don't care. I'm excited for the holiday because I like to be off for a few days, but I also like, I don't know, I just don't, I don't, I don't, I don't care. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> What I will say though, is that if you are interested in wanting to partake in the sale, and when I say that, it means I just, I don't feel like creating the content because it's a lot to like talk about things and then find screenshots and blah, blah, blah. And I know there are people out there that are doing a way better job than I ever could. So I invite you to go check out their Instagram profiles. And I'm speaking about Makeup Release Radar and Trendstopia. If you want to find out what is, I best say poppin', ew, what's poppin' <laughs> during this Black Friday. And if there's something that you're looking for specifically in terms of makeup, Makeup, whether it's a mainstream brand or an indie brand, check out those two. They literally have it in their Instagram stories as well as like highlights on their profile of all the different sales that are happening. That said, I will do my little plug for my ritual defeat because I'm just about to start with my base today. Oh, actually, before I do that, I'm sorry, because I recorded this four times, I don't remember what the hell I talked about. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about a lot of new products, products that I have not tried, but that's a lie now because I just tried this one and it wasn't recording. <laughs> Anyway, we have a lot of products, some fun ones, some weird ones, some I've received in PR and some I forgot that I purchased. Like I, I forgot I purchased this. We're gonna be talking about all that stuff while doing my makeup and uh, I have to do it pretty quickly now because I have a meeting in an hour and a half. And normally I get up early to do these videos and because I fucked around too much, I'm cutting into my own time. So we're gonna do a speed run. <laughs> so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my Ritual Defeat Thorn Oil. Y'all know I've been talking about Ritual Defeat for a long time now, and I'm pretty sure some of y'all are really, really sick about it. You're like, I know it's good. I know it's good. I know. I hear you. I hear you, Janine from Cleveland. I hear you. But um, I would be remiss if I didn't mention that they are having a Black Friday sale of their own where you can get 20% off of their products. Any product, I believe. I think it should be anything and everything. But obviously the things that I would recommend are the thorn oil. So if you're looking for the thorn oil or my new favorite weapon of choice as of late, which is the skin milk, skin mist, sorry, I'm adding words to it. This is wonderful for skin prep or for setting the base. I like both, but I actually kind of prefer it for setting makeup because one, it keeps the skin very, very hydrated and it creates a lovely barrier for my makeup so it doesn't slip and slide all over my goddamn face. We love that here. So as I'm a little glowy goddess, I'm gonna use the best thing I've ever purchased from Mimia, their fan. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling refreshed. Also, I feel like I'm staring down the barrel of time right now. All right, we're gonna go, <laughs> we're gonna move on to the CC Pair, the Dr. Jar Color Correcting. As you can see, I have this uh, huge red thing on the side of my face, so we're gonna cover that bitch up. In terms of foundation today, we're gonna be using uh, Chantecai because I have it sitting in front of me and the Future Skin Foundation is literally my bread and motherfucking butter as of late. How are y'all? Are you excited for Thanksgiving? I am, I am, I am, I am. Um, and that's because we don't have to go to anybody's house. <laughs> I don't know about you, but <laughs> when you live in New York, as much as it is fun to go see people and all that stuff, sometimes, I don't know, driving is a fucking nightmare. And then you spend most of your time in the goddamn car. And so in our case, Alex's family, because we would always spend um, Thanksgiving with his family, they lived like a little over an hour from where we were. But of course, add Thanksgiving traffic, you're looking at like a fucking hour and a half, two hours. I'm just sitting in the car, honk, 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 gas, honk. <laughs> 
<laughs> literally so fucking annoying and then nobody knows how to fucking merge but whatever that's besides the point so I mean while yes it would be amazing to go hang out with his family and all that stuff it was super annoying because the traffic sucks balls then the other icing on the shit cupcake um, is the fact that Alex used to always have to work on either Thanksgiving or Black Friday because Target uh, was the devil so <laughs> So it's actually really kind of nice that this holiday season, we don't have to deal with any of that shit and that we can actually enjoy, not go anywhere and kind of be the little central hub where people come to see us. It's kind of nice actually. So this Thanksgiving we're actually going to be hosting and initially we were going to have I think like three other people and now it's two. Everyone's dropping like flies but it's fine. Listen I get to reap the best benefits. I get to sit on the couch and watch the parade as my husband slaves <laughs> over the stove and cooks us a delicious meal. No, I'm really excited. And then what makes me even more excited is that I get to actually do some Black Friday shopping. I haven't done Black Friday shopping in a very, very long time. Like actually like go to the store I'm talking about. Now, yes, you can technically purchase everything you need online. There are things called door busters, which I'm not gonna partake in, but sometimes it's just so interesting to watch. <laughs> But um, I do want to say like a little PSA though, if you are going to be shopping uh, this Black Friday, be kind to the retail workers. They don't want to be there. They want to be home. You know, they want to not have to deal with your stupid ass. So don't be an asshole. Okay. Don't be an asshole. Be nice. If you're going to Starbucks, tip. Tip the fucking baristas. <laughs> Any industry. If you can tip, tip them. <laughs> All right, fucking tip them. They need to be protected at all costs. They don't need to be fucking yelled at by assholes. Anyway, so now we're gonna move on to the Shantikai Future Skin Gel Foundation. This is amazing, 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 amazing. I'm in the lightest shade, which is the shade Light as Fuck, also known as Aura, and I love this stuff. I'm so mad that it has taken me so long to use this, but it's so good. It's so scrum diddly umptious on my beautiful skin. This is perfect. So I like to kind of dot on a little bit and then take a brush and then paint it on. Anyway, how y'all doing? If you are actually going to be cooking this Thanksgiving, actually, you know what? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be that bitch. What's your favorite side at Thanksgiving? What is your favorite dish of choice at Thanksgiving? Or if you don't like Thanksgiving food, what do you rather eat on that day? I'm so curious to know. Cause I know some people just don't fuck with turkey and I got it. I got it. <laughs> but I am curious though to know like what do people eat though besides turkey? I am excited for, listen, I'm a potato. I was about to say I'm a potato boy. I mean, I am a potato boy, but I'm a potato boy and I love me some mashed potatoes, but I also am a stuffing boy and I love me some stuffing. So either way, it's a win-win for me. Alex is going to be slaving all day in the kitchen, but I know he wouldn't have it any other way. He's actually already talking about what we're doing for Christmas, which I'm super excited about because he's making beef wellington. Y'all go find yourself an Alex if you can. Not only are they a good cook, but they are a good time. <laughs> <sighs> okay. <laughs> anyway, there's a little bit of redness right here and it's because, you know, I'm fucking, I'm rushing like a bitch. I'm rushing like a bitch. What does that even mean? I'm just rushing. <laughs> <sighs> All right, we're looking good. We're looking really good. I'm gonna add just a little bit more coverage down yonder. I'm gonna stamp it in. I like using the brush because I feel like you get a really nice amount of coverage. The sponge is definitely the sheerest. You can use your fingers too. So if you're into that, that could work. But I do love this that no matter like how much you use, it's impossible to make you look cakey. Such a good formula. So like I mentioned, I don't know if actually if I mentioned this because I, I fucking recorded this four times already. Um, <laughs> Shantikai is also having a Black Friday sale. I made a video about that. If you want to see it, a link in the corner. My code is TID TID TIDDIES TID25. <laughs> Uh, I guess they just weren't up to garbage 25, but that's fine, I digress. And do yourself a favor and uh, pick up one of these if you can. My little list, I tried to be very mindful of things that were under $100 that I think are like, oof, super worth the splurge, whether you pay for them full price or not. And I stand by my list. But moving on, we're gonna be using this, which I've already fucking delved into and I hate that I did that already. So the element of surprise is gone. I have been eyeing this little bitch for a long time now. This is the Les Beige Chanel Cream Bronzer that everybody talks about. I was a little apprehensive at first because because there's some like coconut in it and my skin kind of reacts weirdly to coconut sometimes. I say sometimes because sometimes it's fine and sometimes it's not fine. I don't know. I need to go to an allergist. I really need to like just bite the bullet and do that. But we're going to try this and hope for the best. Spoiler alert though, I like it. 
so far because I think it applies really nicely and evenly. And while, yes, it's a warm color, it looks so motherfucking natural. I can understand why people talk about this product in such high regard. So I picked this up at Ulta because mama got some points and I've been wanting to buy this. And I felt, you know what? This is something that I would purchase with my points and I did. I fucking love it. So I'm using the Sonia G mini base brush, which I think was like a holiday set maybe last year or so. This is like, perfect for like cream contours, cream bronzers. It's such a small little brush, really gets into your nooks and crannies. So I have that permanent vacation glove that we all love, but I am going to go over it with a little bit of a sponge because I'm a little heavy handed on one side, I feel like. So we're just gonna do this. I'm not taking any additional product on the sponge, just using what God has already put in there. What the fuck does that even mean? <laughs> What am I even saying right now? I'm the one that put it in there. Am I God? Maybe I'm God, okay. All right, we like this. I really, really think this is so pretty. It's not too much, it's just enough. You know how sometimes like cream bronzers, you can just tell that it's just like orange bullshit. And I'm not a fan of those. This is like, it just melts seamlessly into the skin. Like, oh, where did you come back from? Oh, I came back from Aruba. <laughs> I love that for me. Now the thing I wanna move on to is something that I'm so excited about because I received it the other day in PR. And that's Hindash, our baby Hindash. So this is, ow, ah! this is the color fluid. This is what she looks like. She's so pretty. I need to use this one. This is a matte, dusty rose pink. Hardest? Ooh, we gotta use hard. Ooh, I should've used Carve. You know what? Let's see, actually. I wanna use Carve just a little bit. Let's see what it looks like if we just did that. What a line right. Let's throw caution to the motherfucking wind. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Did I just like carve my face? Yes, I did. Oh, that's so nice. Now granted, this is over the Chanel, but it's very, <laughs> it is very pretty. Oh, I love that. Oh, that's cool. Yes, bitch. Okay, mama loves. Okay, throw a little bit more over here. It melts very beautifully without having to do too much. Okay, listen, that's good, that's fun. I love it, what the fuck, all right. Not that I didn't think this was gonna work, but I didn't think it was gonna work as fucking fast as it did. All right, this is super fucking easy to work with. So I'm going to go in with the pink shade. Ooh, okay, I'm just gonna dot it. We're gonna see what happens. <laughs> We're just fucking see what happens. I am going to use the classic base brush. Oh, this, oh, this is pigmented. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, 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 okay. That was a me problem. <laughs> Ooh, okay. <laughs> All right, you know what? Hold on. Wow. The fucking 80s called. Holy shit. Oh my God. Okay, so listen. If you were gonna pick this up, a little bit goes a long way. Just saying. But I'm sorry. Hello? Like, I look so cute. Oh my God. All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Oh God, that is so intense. That is so fucking intense. Oh my God. I, 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 wow. Okay, wow. I think what I wanna do is just to kind of carve that out a little bit more um, because I obviously use way too much product. I'm gonna take the Milk Makeup Future Fluid and I just want to kind of carve this out like that. And I'm going to take my little foundation brush that I used and we're just going to paint it that way and then use my little sponge to melt in the product. Okay, like I love that. I love that, I love that, I love that. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing on the side because she, <laughs> she's a little severe. <laughs> but again, that is a total me fucking problem. Holy shit, okay. I love this. Okay, this is cute. So listen, uh, color fluid, haha, <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> You can apply on the eyes, face, or lips for a full monochromatic look. A little bit goes, a little goes a long way. Literally, it says a little goes a long way. Mm. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, made to mix with your products for a soft flush of color or on their own for a full color impact. Okay, this is so pretty. This is fucking pretty. I love this. Um, I just need to remember that a little bit goes a long way. <laughs> 
my face with it. But this is cute though. I look pretty fucking cute. Honestly, can't wait to use that brown more because that one's pretty fucking good as like a cream bronzer, cream contour situation. But yeah, we like this. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little concealer, which I don't have anything new. So I'm just gonna use whatever the fuck's in front of me, which is something. Oh, which is this. This is from the brand Collab. I don't even think they exist anymore, but I love me this concealer. It's so good. It's a shame that this is not being made anymore. Or if it is, let me know, but I have not found it though. And I'm going to be using this little teeny tiny Sephora brush that I heard is a really good concealer brush. And I picked this up during the Sephora sale, along with some other items that I will feature in today's video. Oh, this is good. This is a nice little concealer brush. Oh, I like that. Wow, that really blended very effortlessly and very easily. Okay. This is the number 71, if you were interested in picking it up. And like a little right there, just a little right there. So what we're gonna do now is use a little bit of powder. Ooh, you know what? No, 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 no. I'm gonna go back in with my Kaleidos powder in the Trio. This is really great for under eyes. Been loving it so much and it's really good set your whole face with as well. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to, I don't think that's, I think that's the last cream product, right? Yes, so I'm just gonna set my face really quickly. And again, just gonna use the Kaleidos and I'm going to move on to highlighters. Looking pretty adorable. So I think before I actually move on to this, which is the highlighter palette that we're gonna play with, I think we should do an eye look first. And here's what she looks like. I love this. Oh my God, I love this. I love this little Muppet holiday palette. So cute. So fucking cute. Oh my God. Okay. I wanted to touch the screen. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. I'm going to do the pinks. The pink has like this very, okay. Oh, no. <laughs> Ew, what are these swatches? Uh, ew, why is it like that? Okay, so are these supposed to be like pressed? <gasps> I think these are press glitters. No. No. <laughs> no. Okay, not super happy. They're not press glitters, <laughs> but they're like pearlescent glitters. I don't like the sound of that. So basically, this is a 16 pan palette <sighs> that has pearlescent glitter, matte sparkle, metallic, and matte finishes. That is so disappointing. That is so disappointing. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I don't even want to fucking use it anymore. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna use the mattes and then we're gonna use something else for all over the lid. I refuse to fucking blind myself for ColourPop. No, and maybe we could use Miss Piggy. <laughs> maybe we could use Miss Piggy, ColourPop, Super Shock, Shadow, what is this? Okay, 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 okay. All right, you know what? Let's, let's, let's give that a whirl. Let's see if that works. Yo, I am fucking disappointed. I'm so disappointed. Not happy, not a happy camper whatsoever. All right, so we're gonna go in with the Kaleidos Primer of Choice. <laughs> I keep calling it Primer of Choice. No, this is the Tone Activator. I'm gonna go in with Hot Holidays, which is this very beautiful pink color. Oh, very, very bright. And I'm just going to put this like right in the crease, a little bit above the crease, actually a little bit more above the crease. I have hooded eyes, I don't have a lot of real estate. For being very, very mad at this palette, uh, that color laid down beautifully within no time at all. So mama loves that. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So I'm gonna take the shade Holiday Party Time, which is pretty much the color of my fucking skin tone. And we're just going to blend that in the outer edges of that pink to soften it because we can't have me having pink eye for today. Can't have people thinking that somebody shit on my pillowcase <laughs> while I join a Zoom meeting. I'm fucked up about that glitter. God damn, man. That sucks. I don't know why brands are continuing with that bullshit. It's so stupid. Like, why would you want something so hard and pointy and sharp in your goddamn eye? Like, why would you want that? That laid down beautifully. I'm going to go in with the darkest shade, which is uh, Celebrate in the Sky, which is like this really uh, pretty kind of like reddish brown. Very, 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 wow. Okay. Very, 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 very pigmented. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to lay it down first and then we're going to blend it out. You know what? It's actually pretty fucking cute. I like how the mattes work. The mats work really beautifully. They work really actually kind of quickly too. I just bums me the fuck out that there are some sort of weird press bullshit in here. So I'm going to take this duochrome super shock shadow. You know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see. What does Kermit look like? What do you look like, bud? Oh, 
okay. Um, very pretty. Ooh, do we do green? Do we do green? Do we do green? Do we do green? Let's try a little green. Let's see if that like looks okay. And then if it doesn't, we could fucking abandon it. I'm gonna go in with the refer number 21. I'm not gonna put anything on the brush. It's usually super shock shadows are very, very slick. Mm, cute, it's cute, it's cute. It's not, mm, it's cute. <laughs> I don't think I like this one. You know what, actually, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. No, I like this. I like it. I, I, I like it. I like it. I think I just needed to build it up a little bit. Pink and green for me go together. I think pink and green are beautiful. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put most of this on the lid and then we're gonna use a little bit of this and kind of towards the front in the inner corner. Yeah. Okay, I feel a little funky. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Obviously wanna be super memorable in my meeting today. So <laughs> we're gonna take a little bit of the Miss piggy one. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, that's weird, but in like a good way. Ooh, okay, so it looks like there's kind of like some blue reflect or whatever in this guy. So when you combine it with the green, it starts to kind of get a little blue too. Ooh, I think we made a happy mistake. <laughs> that's cute, okay, okay, okay. You know why? Yeah, I can fuck with this. This is pretty cool. I'm gonna take a little bit a little bit of that brown just for the outer corner. There is a little bit of glitter bukkake just a heads up, but I was going in fast and loose. <laughs> so that's a me issue. Okay, I like fucking love this. So I'm going to, ooh, ooh, you know what? We do have some new eyeliners and we have this green one that we're gonna use from Culfi. I used their eyeliners not that long ago in a try on video. I loved it, I loved it. And we are going to use this right in the waterline and it's so pretty. I usually have a lot of uh, trouble finding good eyeliners and these have not been disappointing me so far. All right, we love this bog queen moment. So I'm just gonna throw something a little bit in the lower lash line and then we're going to move on to highlighter and lipstick and we're gonna keep on keeping on. So we're gonna go in with this mascara. I totally forgot that I fucking bought this. <laughs> Now there's also a black eyeliner in here. We're not doing the eyeliner today, but we're gonna be doing this mascara. And okay, all right. Oh, you know what I should do? I should, no, no. <laughs> Let's curl my lashes first. I like it, it's not bad. It feels like a very wet formula. Kind of getting a little bit all over the place, so that kind of sucks. So you kind of have to be a little careful with this guy. It's definitely providing me length, which is great. Not bad, I, I feel like it's doing a really good job. The only thing I don't like is the fact that it kind of transferred a little bit quickly, but so far so good. I'm gonna take a little bit of this shade. I'm gonna do the other eye off camera. Okay, we're liking this so far, this is pretty cute. Now we're going to do my favorite thing about makeup. Uh, my my highlighter and ooh, I feel like we should do this pink one, which is Star Nights. So I'm actually going to use, do I wanna do Star Nights? I wanna use a combination of like pink and green. So let's do Star Nights and Moonlit Sky. So let's see, taking it on this little fan brush. Oh, she is super pigmented. That's very, very pretty. Take it on the other side. That is very, 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 very pretty. Okay, so I think what I wanna do though is I wanna take that green and kinda, kinda put it in the back. I don't know, something about like a two-tone moment. We gotta show these bitches who's boss. <laughs> Oh, I love that. So this palette's actually gonna be released on Black Friday at 9 a.m. I'll pop the details right here. This is gonna be 40 bucks. I do have a code if you're interested. Whew, garbage. You should be able to get a discount. I don't think codes will be suspended, um, but if they are, I'm sorry. But if you ever wanted to purchase anything, garbage. Save you some money. This is so cute. Okay, so the last thing I have is a lip. And I purchased this Siate collection a while back. This is the Iris collection. This is Iris Apfel. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly, so my apologies. But when I saw this being released, I was kind of confused from Siate. I was like, what is this? But I don't give a shit. Why? I mean, come on. Ooh, it's a good quality mirror. I look so cute. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I love this. Oh my God, this is so cute. <laughs> Anyway, so in the collection, there was an eyeshadow palette, which whatever, it didn't look that great. But I picked up the mirror, I picked up the makeup bag because she's so much fun, and I had to pick up her iconic pink lipstick. So what is this? This is sheer to buildable color. I don't know if this is a liquid lipstick or what it is. Oh no, no, it's just a regular lipstick. So it's very pink. 
Oh, that is good. Okay. Oh, I love this. Oh my God, this is pretty, pretty fucking cute. Love that. Oh my God, I love her. It's amazing. I think Siate is doing a Black Friday deal. If you can get the collection, get it. Especially the mirror and the makeup bag and the lipstick. It's pretty adorable. All right, so the only thing I wanna do now is blast my face and then we are good to go. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Forgot to put a little, a little something in the inner corner. This is a completed look. I fucking love it. <laughs> I love it. I think I look so sweet. Unfortunately, <laughs> I'm late for work. It's 9.01. I can't give you my final thoughts. <laughs> I expect um, a final thoughts video um at the end of december to talk more about these products but if i had like literally two minutes i would say yes to the foundation yes to the cream bronzer yes to the color fluid i'm sorry like that looks good yes to the highlighter palette from sugar drizzle Ugh, to the color pop stuff i'm a little uh perturbed <laughs> I'm a little disappointed considering that there are somewhat kind of weird pressed glitters and they don't feel good. Um, but the mattes work beautifully. The super shock shadows work lovely. There are things that I like, but the fact that they have shadows like that in the palette making me want to Hulk smash the shit out of it. Love the lipstick, love the eyeliner. The mascara, you know, uh, it's crunchy. I don't think I'm gonna love this forever. I liked how it was applying, but it just felt very wet and it was kind of getting a little bit all over the place. But now it's kind of turning into like a fucking stone goblin on my eyes and I feel like it's gonna be flaking. So we're gonna keep playing with the Cali Ray one. But um, overall, everything else, Okay, I'm liking this. And I think I look like a badass bitch today that I can destroy the world, me and my little Pusheen shirt. Uh <laughs> Anyway, now I want to hear from y'all. Let me know down below if you have any of these products. And also, what is your favorite thing about Thanksgiving? And yeah, what's your favorite thing about Thanksgiving? And with that said, I want to say I hope everybody has a safe and happy, healthy holiday. And um, yeah, I'll see you on Friday with some viewer mail. Ooh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Anyway, I want to say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. As always, feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button. It's free. And hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Instagram. And to my beautiful, wonderful patron and YouTube members, thank you so much for keeping this delicious, disgusting, filthy, trashy, really trashy, really filthy, really gross, but really cornucopia-ish. Garbage about a flow. I couldn't do without you. I love your adorable little delicious faces. And I just want to gobble you all up so you live inside my belly and we can be one. If you want to know what is on my face, everything you need to know will be listed in the description box below. And I'll see you little pumpkins later. Bye.